I'm a grumpy old man, so I do not like it when people call harmonizers vocoders. Smackily pang. Smackily pang. Let's have a look at another way to make a scratch. My name is Carl. Very using reasons. One of my favorite uh, instruments in reason. Grain. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll take the entire track we just made, bounce it into a new loop in this song. Smackily pang. There you got it. What happens? If I create a grain instance, right click on the newly created audio clip, select bounce to new samples, it will appear here and you can just drag and drop into grain, set this to tape. And there you got yourself a wave wave tune. But that's not what we're making. So, if you're gonna play, at, if, if you hit this note on your keyboard, you're gonna play the sample at the tempo you imported it in. Yeah? Alright, so now what happens if I mm -hmm, set this to end freeze? That, that, this means that the sample will freeze when it comes to this marker, you see? And you also hear that there's like a tape stop effect. When it freezes. There's a, there's a freeze feature as well. This will just freeze it at this point. Nothing happens. If I hold down the key and play this and drag this back and forth. Go down to the matrix and select envelope one, which should be what a bit confusingly called motion one here. So you need to set this to loop for this to work. And then this is how fast, um, how fast we're gonna scratch. So if you, instead of this very noisy cluttery preset, select something like a sine wave, and beat sync to say one sixteenth notes. Well, that's a cool effect. It's not a scratch, it's a cool effect. So, what happens if I instead let's do this a little bit smaller? to make sure uh, we needed to select bipolar okay now what if we select end freeze instead and set this to end position start from the beginning and have it going somewhere here ah Perhaps we want to do it here. So you might gonna have to find like a sweet spot where
perhaps if we also set another one here, some random one, set it a bit slow, deselect sustain, select envelope 2, position, end position, yeah, yeah that's crazy. This is where your family members are going to go into the room and be asking like What the f*** are you watching? Oh, you see, you can do all sorts of things with this, but the principle is the same. You need to just f fiddle around until you find something that, you know, works in your context that you think sounds cool. Then you might gonna have to print it to audio and move bits around to make it fit your song. Just, you know, Make this track a rec source track. Set it up with a new audio track, stereo input, grain as input source. Record yourself doing. Find bits and pieces you dig from here. Doesn't have to be a scratch, you can also use this as some kind of tape stop effect for your song. You don't know how to end the song, just end with a tape stop. Oh sorry, the song went bad. That's a cool bit. That sounds like scratch to me. What happens if I mute this? That'll work. That'll work. Okay, so now we got... So, I don't want to double scratch this overlapping, so let's, let's mute the old scratch just as this new one kicks in, right? Yeah. That will work. I'm happy with this. I don't care what your kids think. This is this is real hip hop. Nej, det får du inte med. Jag vågar inte säga så. Okej, let's spin this one last time because it's so good. Mm -hmm. 